So according to NICE guidelines and HFEA regulation, we are bound by uh, having a number of embryos. And now if you uh, hear the actual acronym, uh, a single embryo transfer or SET, so we have two basically named SET or double ET, DET. And why is that? It depends on so many things. One of them is your age. So that's the most important thing. The actual age is the denominator in order to tell me how many embryos should I transfer. Usually, uh, uh, in a general term, like if you are until like 37, 38, we can replace one embryo. From 37, 38 onwards up to 40, we can transfer two embryos, okay? So, uh, in, especially if you had a failed IVF before. So, the previous history is uh, obviously a guide for us. If someone even is uh, a young, however, she had two or three single embryo transfer failed on that uh, circumstances, we can uh, uh, have exceptional sort of circumstances to transfer maybe more, a higher number of embryos. Also, the, um, the quality of the embryo. So the quality of embryo is the very of utmost importance regarding the decision making of transfer and a, a one or two. So if someone has a very high quality, high grade blastocyst, we would always recommend to go for one. That's that's for sure. However, a lesser grade embryos, you can argue to transfer like more than one. So that's another sort of uh, parameter. Uh, day three or day five. Now, day three or day five uh, as well, uh, we know that day three embryos do not have the same implantation potential of day five. So taking this argument, we can always uh, decide whether uh, it is advisable to transfer one or two embryos. If you are having an egg donation cycle, basically, uh, the recommendation is to have one embryo transfer. Why? Because even, so it, it will work for, for your best interest because uh, I'm talking about the category of age between 40 and 50. If you are having like the egg donation for this uh, reason, then the, the, a singleton pregnancy is always safer than twins pregnancy. Uh, I know there is a lot of um, arguments and uh, couples who wish to have like their family uh, complete uh, in one sort of step, like having uh, twins. And I have this uh, a lot. Uh, however, it's not as easy and is not as recommended uh, for safety reason to have uh, twins. I know it is advantageous for you. However, it gets you a lot of uh, an impact to, to have and more risk uh, for you and for the uh, NHS. So, as I said, your age, your uh, the quality of the embryo, whether uh, it is day three or day five, uh, and is is this an egg donation cycle or a, a fresh uh, uh, IVF uh, transfer? Uh, it goes the same with the frozen embryo transfer. So, if uh, you are within uh, uh, the category of a young patient group uh, together with a high-grade blastocyst which was frozen, uh, the recommendation is to have only one transfer. So we err towards one. Uh, obviously with age and grading we go for two. Under exceptional circumstances we can transfer three. And the transfer three it depends also on the day three or day five uh, and the age above 43, 44, we could negotiate like to have like three embryos. Um, a young patient to transfer two or three is obsolete now in this country uh, because of the risk of uh, multiple pregnancies, whether twins or triplets. And uh, it's not um, advisable to have this kind of uh, risk uh, for someone who could 
uh, end up with a, a, a singleton pregnancy. We always say a healthy pregnancy singleton is much far better than having any complication from uh, twins or triplets uh, pregnancy.